Hello Year 3, welcome back to Art. Today we're going to be doing, an, well, we're going to be starting an Aboriginal inspired artwork um, and it's going to go over two weeks. So we're going to learn a little bit more about Aboriginal symbols today and then we're going to be making an artwork using those symbols next week. So what you're going to be doing today is I'm going to be drawing some symbols on this whiteboard but you're going to be drawing a smaller version of those symbols in your in your art diary. You might take up two pages if you need to, but don't do them too big. You're going to be filling up your art diary with all these symbols and making sure that you take the time to write down the names of the symbols. Because we don't use these symbols daily, by next week, we'll definitely need a reminder of what some of these symbols mean. So make sure that you draw the symbol and write what the symbol means underneath. Now I'll show you what we are going to do next week. Once we've learned a little bit more about all the symbols, and these certainly aren't all the symbols, they're just some of the symbols, you're then going to be creating a boomerang artwork. And inside your boomerang, not only will you be doing a, a design using the symbols, but you might think about actually trying to tell a story using the Aboriginal symbols. So I might come back to this afterwards and we might talk about what the story might be in this boomerang. So all that you need today is your art diary and a pencil. And I want you to remember that in your art diaries, you only ever work on the right hand side. So even when you fill up this page, we never go straight onto the back, we go over to this right hand side and we always leave this one empty. Okay, so let's get started. First, I'm going to draw the symbol for a person. I'm going to colour that in and I'm just going to pause the video while I do it and I suggest you do the same. There's our symbol for person. And it's not usually really coloured in necessarily but the symbols for people are typically quite thick in nature whereas you'll see some more later on uh, just a single um, stroke of the pencil. The next one I'm going to do is a woman. I might just sort of put a dotted line just to show that we're onto a new symbol. And again, I'm going to just colour those in a little bit and pause my video. Woman. I might do the symbol of a man underneath the woman. I didn't leave myself much room to write underneath there, so I might just write. A man. Now this symbol here is to represent people sitting. people sitting and you can see that the symbol for people are in that image there. Now I'm going to draw the symbol for a kangaroo. I 
and they're quite thick as well. So I'm just going to pause the video and colour those in. Kangaroo. And then we also have the symbol for And maybe you can guess that these are kangaroo tracks. So make sure you're pausing this video so that you can keep up. Make sure you label your work properly and carefully. And also remember that all of your all of yours are going to fit on one or two pages. So don't feel like you have to draw them nice and large like I am. You can do yours a lot smaller so they shouldn't take as long. I'm going to draw the symbol for a star. Now one thing I should mention is that quite often there's a, there's a few different symbols to represent the same, the same thing. A little bit like speaking a different language. You might see a star also um, drawn like this. And there's also a couple of different symbols for a sphere. And the other symbol that I've seen for a spear is and perhaps there might be an opportunity to use both in an artwork. One might show them being thrown and one might show them simply existing. I'm doing a few um, tools at the moment. This is the symbol for a shield. And digging sticks. Make sure you're pausing the video so you can catch up. Put one more over here, so I might do the symbol for an emu. A nice fresh page there. I'm going to draw the symbol that represents, it can either be um, for smoke or for water flowing. You can probably guess this one. Now that can represent a rainbow. <laughs> a sand hill.
or a cloud. Now I'm going to draw the symbol for a campsite. And also a um, two water holes connected by a stream. Two water holes connected by a stream. Just make sure you're rewinding if you need to, pausing when you need to. The next one is a resting place. I'm going to do the forest. Now there's two symbols that I know of for meeting place, but I'm sure that there's more. And the other one that I know of for meeting place whether or not they mean different things this might be people from coming coming from different places to a meeting place whereas this might be the actual meeting So this snake-like um, drawing actually represents a long journey. And I think the dots in between must represent different stopping points or perhaps lessons along the way. There's quite a few different ones that I've seen to represent rain. I actually know of three. One's just lines like that. One is lines with little dots on the lines. And then the other one is lines with dots coming down the centre. So even though they all represent rain, the thing they have in common is they come in at an angle. So whether or not you put the dots on the lines, inside the lines or not at all, I don't think it matters. It might, um, it might represent how heavy the rain is or whether or not there's hail.
Now dots or circles. And represent all different sorts of things like food, ants, flowers, or even fruit. And the last one I'm going to do is possum. Now we've done lots today. We've done so many, but there are also so many more. I didn't even really get started on the animals and some are quite obvious, like the snake just looks like a snake and the ant looks quite similar to a regular ant. But what I suggest you do is you start to think about perhaps the story that you want to draw in your boomerang next week. And perhaps for homework, you could have a look. If you were to Google Aboriginal symbols, you might be able to add some to your collection that you could use and maybe share with your friends some of the Aboriginal symbols that you learn because this is only one page of symbols and there are hundreds and thousands of symbols. So um, if you are interested and you enjoyed drawing them, do some research and see if there's any more that you can you can find. But I definitely do want you to start to think about your design for next week. And I think this here might be, might tell a story. So I want you to have a look carefully at some of the things that you can see. This here, we know that that might represent either a sand hill or a rainbow or some clouds. We've got either smoke or water running through here. We've got a forest. We've got a, people sitting here. We've got some rain coming down. We've got two water holes connected by a river. We've got a star. We've got a long journey here. And we've also got some kangaroo tracks. So when I look at that, I start to think of what kind of a story might be sitting behind this boomerang. And one that comes to mind when I look at this boomerang is it might be one where there's a, a, a family of kangaroos or a kangaroo who might be starving, lost and hungry and wants to get to this waterhole which is possibly sometimes protected by some, a tribe of Aboriginals and there's, a, there's some dots here, almost like it can't get through. So it's gone on this long journey and all at once there's some water but it can't get there. So I'm thinking one night, because this represents a star, one lucky night, I'm thinking that there might have been some kind of a, um, a, a sandstorm and, and through the forest, um, you know, the Aboriginal people all came together to have a meeting about something. And then all of a sudden there was a, a rainstorm and the rain came pelting down, which stopped the Aboriginal people who were all meeting and getting to the waterhole. And so the kangaroo was able to get to the waterhole and get some water. So that's just an idea of how you can maybe turn the symbols into a story. That's the end of the lesson, Year 3. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about Aboriginal symbols. I look forward to having a look in your books when you get back to school to see if you discovered any more new and interesting ones. And remember, next week we'll be starting our boomerangs. So start to think about your story that you might want to tell. Have a lovely week and I will see you next week. Bye.